You already know what's going on. It's your boy, the Chaz Louis. We here with 478 TV right now. Straight out of Fort Valley, Georgia. Stand up. Let's do it. Oh man, um, I'm from Fort Valley, Georgia. You know, um, Peach County, uh, 516 Henson Street to be exact. You know, you know that's that's the west side of Fort Valley, Vineville. You know, what I'm saying, shout out to everybody in the hood. One time. So, uh, you know, talk about you know how you got your first start in making music. You know, insane. Um, it all started really, um, man, honestly. I wasn't even like really doing music for real, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? I've, I'm a mama's boy, so you know yeah. my mom was single parent and stuff. So yeah. really and all, really and all, like I, I was just in the church a lot. So I just started singing from there, and um, started singing from there when I was a child. You know, it just it just led into a lot. You know, I really was trying to play ball, but um, I had to stay, stop playing ball because I had uh, scoliosis. I had to get surgery for that, and um, it, the doctor told me I won't be able to play basketball competitively anymore. So, so you know, God just gave me music. I started playing piano and all that. You know. So, how long you been doing that? Now? Um, seriously, I've been doing it for about eight years strong. Yeah, really, ever since I was in like a freshman in high school. Um, well, I don't perform at uh, you know some fashion shows like um, Erica Dixon, Erica Dixon from uh, Love and Hip Hop of Atlanta. You know she was hosting that one. I did another one in Atlanta um, with Portia Williams from uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know those are just some of the things I've been on the radio. I was on the uh, I was on the radio for 18 months straight. I had a remix to Lifestyle, the uh, Rich Homie Quan and um, Young Thug, but I did a piano version to it. And it was on 107.1. Shout out to Power 107.1. Um, DJ Spins was there. I mean, DJ Swin, excuse me. DJ Swin was there at the time. And he had my shirt running for about like 18 months straight. Yeah. And, um, you know, I got this new single out now called Ain't Scared. Uh, it's doing great. Got this single called On Me that's really been hitting the college. It's going crazy. Yeah. Like, for real. Um, I'm showing a video for that, actually. And, um, in the next couple of weeks, uh -huh. that's gonna be in Atlanta. We're gonna be, okay. we're gonna be strong. So, uh, so you know, talk about the recording process. You know, what I'm saying, what, what's the recording process like for you? You know, um, I don't know. It, it started different with me because I, at first, when I was, uh, you know, doing music, I used to record with my, um, my homeboy Nate. Yeah. Then it started to me like recording by myself. Uh -huh. So, like, from like me recording by myself, I kind of like, you know, just I can be more like detailed, you know. I don't feel pressured yeah. to really like, you know, I can, you know, start over again. You know, sometimes a lot of people just want to take one takes and stuff. But like as far as me singing, uh -huh. you know, I'm not a rapper now. So it, I take about three, four takes, you know, for like one line or something, you know, because I got to hit every note right, you know. But as um, far as like re recording process, you know, I really just be vibing, you know, you know, really just be in the zone, locked in, yeah. you know, really it. Um, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I'm just a singer, like, it ain't just saying, like, I'm just R&B, even though that's, like, the majority of what I do, but I sing about everything, you know, I sing about real life, you know what I'm saying, I sing about, you know, pain, passion, all that, pleasure, all that, it's real, you know, my music is real, like, you know, I do this for real, so, like, I don't know, man, it's just a different passion when I do it.